Hello students, welcome to the class. It's our GK class. Today we will do three chapters, three new chapters in our GK book. Chapter number 33, 34 and 35 that is about question time, fun with words and we and our environment. These three chapters we will learn today, okay? Uh, because uh, back to back three seven Mondays we got holidays so we didn't able to take the life take our uh, GK class and we got only one live class next we have the live class today we will do these three chapters and in our next live class we will complete the rest of the three chapters up to our our for our the syllabus which has given to you for the unit test so now today in this video I will complete these three chapters and in our live class I will complete the next three chapters. Who are not joining in live class they have to read the book by their own. Those chapters which are not you are not getting the video that means those chapters are completed in uh, live class. That's why you are not getting the videos. So first chapter number 33 open your book ch check the answers chapter number 33 question time uh, it is mainly about all the games related questions this chapter is all about games related question which game uh, indicates what who can take these who can take that these are only for games related so first question which player in soccer is the only one who can touch the ball with his hands so the player who can touch the ball with his hand in saucer, it is only a goalkeeper. Only he can touch the ball by hand, no one else. Which city hosted the 21th Commonwealth Games? 21th Commonwealth Games, it is hosted by Australia, Queensland, Australia. The place is Queensland, it is in Australia. Name a cricket ground in England, it is Oval. The cricket ground name is Oval. In football, who are called zebras? Who are called the zebras in football? The officials uh, are called the zebras. In swimming, what is called the one length of the pool? The length of the pool is measured by the word lap. It is called lap. One length, that means lap. What it is the name? What is the name of the cricket round in Kolkata? You know that place very well. It is Eden Garden. In F1 racing, what does the letter F stand for? The F stands for formula. Which Indian athlete is known as the Pauli Express? It is P.T. Usha. You know that she is a famous athlete P.T. Usha from India. She is known as Pauli Express. Which sport needs a parachute? Which sport needs a parachute? It is skydiving. The sport which uh, people jump from a helicopter from uh, above the sky and they are uh, show some different types of exercises different types of uh, uh, activities they are in the uh, in air and they need the parachute that is skydiving uh, next after how many years are the Asian Games held it is held every four years after on in which sport do you ride over oceans on a board you know that it is a uh, surfing sea surfing in which sport, okay, in which Indian sport do you hold your breath while ride, raiding the enemy? Uh, it is the Kabaddi. Kabaddi, it was, uh, that means uh, you uh, have, if you have not seen it, then please watch it from Google. It is uh, an Indian game. It is very famous. It is called Kabaddi. There you have to hold your breath. Okay, now this chapter, chapter number 34, you have to do... You have to write the words uh, starting with first letter is Q U. So you have to write first three words with a uh, letter Q U, and then you have to add the letter from here given in the will. You have to add the letter from the will, and you have to make a word, meaningful word. Next uh, B is P, uh, start. It will start from with P E, and then you have to choose other letters from the will, and then you have to make another three words. For uh, same goes with other words also. First, it will start from the middle will, uh, middle word that means F O and K N, and then you have to choose other words from the will and make a meaningful word. It, you will do this by your own. And next, green pages we will leave these pages. We don't uh, want to read now, and you don't have to do the paper two also. You don't have to do this paper two. Next page number thirty five. 
sorry chapter number 35 page number 49 it is we and our environment this is all about the pollutions and our uh, related to our environment what is our environment all the things all the belongings that means our houses our uh, family members neighbors trees oceans rivers ponds everything uh, together form our environment okay so this environment is going uh, polluted day by day uh, what are these things to so will learn in this page first question number 1 is is the process of making air water soil etc dirty so it is called the pollution pollution is the process of making air water soil etc dirty so it first answer will be pollution then uh, the second question is means to treat things that have been already used so that they can be used again so it is recycling you know that if you used uh, one item and then throw it it will go to waste so you have to you should try to use the item again and again if it is possible it is called recycling so it will be recycle next number 3 is uh, is the careful use and protection of nature so nowadays people are more focusing to use the nature carefully so this is called conservation 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 next uh, number 4 is are the chemicals used to control pest too much use of it can poison the food and the environment so you know the word pesticides right pesticides when uh, mosquitoes and uh, other insects uh, in trees or in in a uh, uh, homes also or in uh, outside the in fields also when insects uh, damages something or uh, it get in trees that time pesticides uh, we we do pesting so that word is pesticide so it will be pesticide uh, is pesticide are chemicals used to control pest too much of use can poison the food and environment next are anything that pollutes of dirty dirty is the air water of ground and therefore causes harm to the living being so what are the things known as those things known as pollutants from pollution it is coming so it is pollutant okay uh, next our next question is is the rain tainted with chemical waste which burns and harms plant and animal animal life that is acid rain acid rain is very harmful to the uh, animals to the trees and to as well as to uh, us also to human beings also it is affecting day by day uh, the uh, taj mahal is going to decay that in is uh, there are small holes are noticed uh, in taj mahal has been noticed in taj mahal those are only because of acid rain and when it happens when uh, in uh, our environment uh, the acid chemicals are increased it creates the acid rain next is the place where a particular type of plant or animal is normally found the place is known as habitant habitant of a uh, place is known as the the place is known as habitat okay habitat then uh, it is the accidental discharge of petroleum into the sea it causes serious damages to aquatic life uh, you know that uh, petrols are uh, collected uh, and from the under the ground and those uh, are mainly uh, from the seas that means and from under the sea because uh, uh, in our round if we uh, start digging Uh, we have to dig too much but in oceans the level is already in below so they try to collect the petroleum from the seas and oceans mainly and uh, inside the oceans and oceans there are pipes if it leak by uh, some reason may any reason then all whole the whole uh, sea or the whole ocean will be covered with petrols or oils that will affect the water animals as well as us also uh, this is called oil spill this is called oil spill next number 9 is the warming of the earth surface and atmosphere caused by certain gases that trap heat from the sun this is uh, you know that uh, it is in uh, headlines uh, all the time greenhouse effect there are a uh, few uh 
that means there are few greenhouse gas who damages the ozone layer of uh, of our earth uh, the ozone layer is uh, formed with oxygen and uh, this protect us from the ultraviolet ray of the sun uh, the ultraviolet ray uh, of the sun got stuck in the ozone layer or get a barrier in ozone layer uh, which cannot uh, come to the earth and is not able to damage uh, us but uh, recently it is found that there are holes noticed in ozone layer there are holes noticed that is greenhouse uh, those greenhouse gas that means the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide cfc gas chlorofluorocarbon these gas are damaging the ozone layer and making holes there so the ultraviolet layer will come from the is coming from these holes and it is uh, uh, harming our our lives it is harming the animals life and plants life as well as our life also so this is called greenhouse effect uh, next is the is a form of oxygen that is found high up in the atmosphere it protects life on the earth from the sun's dangerous ultraviolet ray this uh, the, what i told it is already given so this layer is called ozone layer okay this layer is called ozone layer so you will complete this page also in your book and other two pages also in your book and you will form uh, the words here it, it you will write this is also in your book okay so this is for today these three chapters you will learn today at your home thank you for watching